the Glock G43X MOS. Let's check it out. when Glock introduced their G43X, uh, it quickly replaced my G43. Uh, definitely 10 rounds in the magazine. Uh, it's a little bit longer, but yet it's just more capable. And so it's one of the things about this little pistol is it's so thin and it's really easy to carry. I was actually at the time carrying a Glock 19. And so this really brought it down quite a bit. Uh, and with still enough capacity where I felt like I had confidence. But now they've introduced the G43X with the MOS. And the MOS version, guys with the optical sights, I mean, it is where a lot of guys are going to, not only for self-defense, but also for competitive shooting. It's really easy to see that one dot rather than trying to align your sights. So it's quick, it's actually a little more accurate. Really, this gives you a lot of options. Plus, they've added an accessory rail, which is one of the things that the G43X needed. And so being a big fan of the G43X, I needed one of the MOS versions, got in touch with Glock, they sent it for this test and evaluation, and I'm gonna buy it, of course. The G43X, and this is the MOS version, which has the modular optic system. There's a plate here, you can remove it and put on a micro red dot, which is something that a lot of shooters have been going to because the red dot is so easy to pick up and you have one point of aim instead of having to line up your sights for two point of aim. It makes it a little more accurate. Uh, I would suggest that you train with it though because it does take some getting used to. But that's one of the things a lot of pistols have gone to this MOS style or this adapter plate where you take the, the cover plate off. Uh, one thing about the G43X is it does not have adapter plates. Uh, but there are a number of optics that will fit directly to it, which allow you to co-witness with your sights. 10 plus 1 in the magazine does have the standard Glock 10-round magazine with the orange follower, and then the gun is unloaded. Um, so this gun has the NDLC coating on it. It has front cocking serrations. It does have an accessory rail, which the original G43Xs did not have. So that's a nice addition. And yet, it's still pretty close to the frame. In fact, here is one of the G43X originals, and you can see it's not really much difference between the two. And that's great because this is a concealed carry option. Now, really otherwise, this is pretty much the same firearm. It just has the MOS version. The grip is very nice. A lot of times Glocks have a very thick grip, and so this gives it a really nice thin grip. Uh, again, very similar to your G43. And here we have the G43, it's a six plus one, and then we have the 10 plus one. It does come out, as you can see, a little bit longer, but the slides actually interchange between the two. You can throw this G43 slide on the G43X and vice versa, we've done it a number of times. And of course, we do have the G48, which is a little bit of a longer slide and barrel. Now the barrel is 3.41 inches in length. It is the Glock Marksman barrel. This particular one has the standard polymer Glock sights, but you can get night sight versions and you can switch these out. There are a ton of different accessories uh, for these pistols. This one also has a little bit of a beaver tail that comes out, as you can see, and that's the same with the G43 and the G42. Now you have your mag release right here, but it is switchable to the other side. 
Of course, you have your safety here with your trigger, and you have that little blade that protects it. So unless your finger is directly on the trigger, it's not going to fire the gun. And one thing, they also have a firing pin block safety in here, and they call this the safe action pistol, and it is safe to carry. Guys, just keep your finger out of the trigger on whatever firearm you have. But the texturing is subdued more than it is on a lot of the larger frame Glocks, but it still has a really solid grip to it. But because of that, I have added Talon grips to my standard G43X and will probably add Talon grips to the G43X MOS. But this is a very concealable, very thin handgun. One thing about this particular pistol is that it compared to the G19, which has been one of my favorites for years, and this is the MOS version. You can see, obviously, we've got a red dot on here, or RMR. Uh, the slide's a little longer, but look how much thinner. Same thing with the G26, a much thinner profile slide, and so it's going to be a little easier to conceal carry, and it does have about the same grip. We have 15 in one here with the G19. We have 10 in one, but a very thin very concealable firearm. It's six and a half inches in length. It's just a little over five inches in height and it's 0.87 inches in width. Now I'm going to install the micro red dot. It does not come with adapter plates, uh, but the red dot that I purchased will fit right directly onto the rail. I picked up one of the Riton Tactics. This is the X3 MPRD. Uh, these were fairly reasonable. It is an aluminum sight. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about the 10 round capacity that we have here and the reasons why they came out with this handgun. A lot of that had to do with the SIG P365. And you can see this is a 10 plus one. And I know I've picked up a lot of guns. I have double checked and double checked the uh, to make sure that these are unloaded. But here you see that it extends considerably farther out. 10 plus one, 10 plus one. And this one actually has the XL slide on it. I know I was switching things around and I thought I had my standard uh, P365. But the big part is, is this right here that makes it smaller. And it also makes it smaller up front. And so in fact, these are almost identical with the long slide. And so with the P365 standard, it's a little bit shorter with the slide. But really concealable is the grip. So when I got my P365, I ended up starting carrying it for a while. I know SIG had a few problems, so I put it back up. Uh, and guys, I was carrying the Glock 26, which is a 10-round subcompact, very much like the 19. It's just pretty much chopped off. But it was 10 plus 1, 10 plus 1, even with this plus 1 adapter plate. So I'm actually holding 11 plus 1 in the G26. The only thing is, it's a little bit thicker. And I'd been used to carrying this one for years. But one of the things is the thinness of this, it made it so much easier to carry. But then the advent of the Shield Arms S15 magazine really changed everything for me. Uh, I, the 10 round magazine was great, but because it's polymer, uh, there's no real way to make this any thinner. There's no way to get any extra rounds in this magazine. Shield Arms came out with the steel magazines and we have 15 plus one. So when I put this mag in, I now have 15 plus one, bring back out my G19. And guys, honestly, both of them are 15 plus one. I have a little bit of a longer slide on the G19 and the grip is the same, but the thinness is just incredibly different. And that's one of the big things about this. It's so much easier to conceal than the G19. And so once that happened, I started carrying the G43X as my go-to concealed carry piece. And I've been doing that ever since. It's just very easy to take a 15 plus one at this size. And there's nothing out there that's close to that on the market. Even the SIG, even with the longer mags, still is 12 plus one. But I'm just gonna be honest, I do carry the SIG P365, especially if I want something a little more deep carry, a little smaller. The one thing about the G43X is that the grip is a little bit longer and sometimes that's a little bit more difficult to carry, especially appendix carry for me. And so if I'm gonna appendix carry, I carry my P365. But I typically carry this strong side right about four o'clock. And guys, as far as holster options, I'll just tell you, I've been carrying this Stealth Gear Vent Core and uh, this is a super comfortable holster to be able to carry. And the MOS would probably butt up against this, but I'm sure that they'll be making some to fit the MOS model. And that's one thing you want to be careful of, guys, is when you're having holster options, if you're going to put a micro red dot on your firearm, you've got to consider that sight.
Now to me, the Gen 5 trigger pull has been improved over the Gen 4 and Gen 3. We're just gonna take a look at it. I mean, it's still a polymer striker fire and sometimes the triggers are a little mushy. We have take up right here, little, very little stacking and then the break. Reset right there. Check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brown Ales. Five pounds, 5.9 ounces. Five pounds, 0.3 ounces. Of course, we've got the Riton X3 Tactics MPRD. This is a micro red dot. Um, I got this off Big Daddy Unlimited, and uh, I think it was like $150. It was very reasonable. But here is the site. It's all aluminum housing, and I really like that. And so we're going to test this out and see how it does. Now, unfortunately, here on YouTube, you cannot show installations. Uh, but I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Uh, you just take off your plate, and then there are two screws provided, and it will fit flush uh, with your slide. And you don't really need adapter plates for it, and I thought that was pretty good. And guys, if you want to see the installation, we're going to have this on GetZone.com, and you can see it there. So it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Now here we have the site installed. I love that it's really flush fit uh, with the slide, and it allows you to actually co-witness your sites. They're really low on the site, but there they are. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring this site up and I'm gonna see if we can get it. We got a really bright red dot, I'm trying to get it to focus, but it's not near that big in real life. Now I wanna just run down a list of sites that do work with the G43X. Uh, most of these are the micro red dots, the really thin slim lines. Again, the Riton Optics X3. This seems to be working really well. Shield Sites makes the RMSC, which is an aluminum body, and then they make the SMSC, which is a polymer body. Then also the Swamp Fox Sentinel. Now those all seem to fit directly you know, onto your slide, and so there's no adapter plates needed. Uh, with the Sig Romeo Zero, according to what I found, they said the screws can be too long, so you need to get the correct screw, uh, and those are aftermarket. Also the Trijicon RMSC, which is what I've really been thinking about, you have to have an adapter plate for it. And that's gonna raise it up over the slide a little more. So personally, I may rethink that because I like the way this fits down into the slide. I wanna thank Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made right here in the USA. One of the largest suppliers of ammunition in the US. Good, clean burning stuff. Also wanna thank Lula Loaders, makes life just a lot easier. Now taking this down to the range, it wasn't any big deal. We knew what it, to expect. Uh, we shoot the G43X, put thousands of rounds through it. I carry it every day. But I wanted to see how it did with the red dot. And guys, it was just, this is a great little optic. So far, uh, we'll be doing some more testing. So I don't really want to recommend it yet until we get more ammo through it. Whatever optic you put on here, it just is a great shooting gun. The G43X has just really proven itself. And so uh, I like the fact that it is a little bit larger in your hand to a point because it shoots like a full-size firearm, yet it's really thin. So you feel like you've really got a good grip on the pistol. Um, you know, of course, we've already done our full review on here. And again, I will be getting Talon grips to put on here just because the G43X and G48 frames are just a little bit more slick than their standard Gen 5 frames. Not really sure why they decided to do that, but it's still good enough, but I really like to have that extra with the Talon grips. Uh, very easy, smooth shooting firearm. With the red dot, it just puts things all together. I love that it sits really low in the slide so I can still access my sights in case I have some kind of problem with the red dot. That's pretty important. And then I don't have to put on suppressor height sights, which honestly I really don't like because it just kind of sticks out and it's a point that I can catch on something. So really this combination, I'm loving it. Now for disassembly, we're gonna drop our magazine, bring it back about an eighth of an inch, grab these two tabs and pull them down at the same time and then pull the trigger and the slide will come right off. This is a brand new gun and I actually got this from Glock. Uh, these are very difficult to get right now, so I was really happy that uh, they did send this to me for this review. And here is your Glock Marksman barrel. Again, it is 3.41 inches in length. 
Then we have our slide and we have our standard copper. You know, this lubricant always has this copper in it when you first get it. Right here is your firing pin block. And so it's going to keep the striker from firing unless you pull the trigger. And here you can see the frame, and many of you have already seen this. Guys, that's all you need to do to field strip. Uh, to reassemble, just put it in reverse order. Drop in your barrel, recoil spring, and guide rod. This dual captive guide rod, guys, will really help tame the recoil as well. Then put it right back over your slide. Test for function, and we're good to go. Now, as far as price goes, these are the same MSRP as your Glock G43X. Typically, you can find those for around the $500 range. During normal times, right now in 2020, um, it's very difficult to find. But that'll just give you an idea of what to expect if things ever get back to normal. Now, guys, there's a number of different self-defense options out there. You know, you've got your P365, which really kind of was a game changer with 10 rounds, a much smaller pistol. Uh, then you have the Hellcat Springfield Armory, which has 11 rounds. Again, much smaller pistol. Those are great options. Uh, and if you want to have that extra capacity, and I think that's what a lot of people are doing, they like that smaller size, but yet having more capacity than just a single stack. Uh, with the Glock G43X, you do have your 10 round magazine, which gives it decent capacity for one of these pistols. But it's, you know, a little bit longer here. But for guys that are, are Glock guys, this is really just a great option. And again, I've been carrying the G43X uh, for a good while now. But a lot of that has to do with the Shield Arms 15 plus 1 magazines. But still, this is 10 rounds. It shoots like a full-size gun, which will give you advantages over the SIG or the Hellcat, uh, which has a little more muzzle flip. And to me, this just feels a little bit better in your hand as far as shooting. As far as concealed carry and making it really small, you know, it's hard to beat the P365 or the Hellcat. But as far as being able to hit your target, that's also a consideration. Being able to take this out and just enjoy shooting it all the time at the range. And of course, we all have our different experiences and our different ways we shoot. But I really like the G43X. I like the way it shoots. I like the way it feels. And of course, adding that MOS option on here is really what I was looking for. So it's really great to see that with Glock. And guys, to be just completely honest, it's very difficult for me to pick up my Glock G19, which has been my all-time favorite Glock, when I have the Shield Arms mags in this G43X MOS. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Which is just a plate here. It's an adapter. You take this off. To my Glock 19 because it would hold 50 rounds. <laughs> hold 50. This will hold 50 rounds, people. People. And the MOS version, which is Modular Optics Sighting System. No, Modular Optics System. And going down to the range, no big surprise. We've been shooting Glock G43Xs for a, as long since they've been okay. But one of the things you'll notice is that that it's not as long, duh, which means the modular sighting system. And so this gives you, modular sighting system is not it, what is it? Modular optic system. The G43X MOS, the MOS is for modular sighting system, and it's not sighting, it's a modular optic system, you doofus. Right, just calm down, calm down. Is for the micro red dot, it's a micro sighting system. 
right here, modular siding system. It's the modular siding something. 